in addition to iOS 18.3.1, Apple did drop a ton of double dot releases today. One of those is including for watch OS 11.3.1, and it is now available as well. This video should be pretty short today. As with all double dot releases, we usually don't get any new features. So this is more surrounding bug fixes and stability improvements. I do want to call out since watchOS has been so stagnant recently, there are not a lot of bugs to troubleshoot here because it's been pretty consistent. We personally did not see a lot of issues with this build. We have seen somewhat of inconsistent battery life here and there. Uh, but aside from that, everything's been working as anticipated. There was a slight delay in communication between the watch and the iPhone where you might get an alert on your iPhone for a mail update, say that you had a new mail and then you would be able to actually read it on your phone before the watch actually even picked up that there was a new mail being sent. So let's jump right into it. Take a quick look at the build number, short and sweet video for you guys today. Let's go. So we should get the pop-up any minute now, but watchOS 11.3.1 just finished installing on our Apple Watch Ultra. First call out here, it did take a little longer than what we normally see with these updates. Not sure why that is, especially since this download came in at only a little over 100 megabytes. The watch also is still and did get significantly warmer than what we've usually seen in the past. Not sure why that is, but here we are nonetheless. Beyond that, let's go ahead and I'm going to show this on the phone just because it's a lot easier to do. Let's take a look at the build number. So settings, general, and about, and you can see watchOS 11.3.1 has that build number you can see here of 22S560. Now, one of the things that we were complaining about in that intro is just how delayed some notifications were when we got one from the iPhone to the watch. Hopefully that will be better here than it was a little while ago uh, on the last build, I should say. But beyond that, quickly hopping around, let's also take a look in settings on the watch for battery health after using this for quite a bit of time now. This is one thing that has been really great on the Apple Watch Ultra, and that is battery life and max capacity. So settings, let's go back out of general, and jumping right down to battery, and battery health, you can see here, we are currently now at 97%, which is what we've actually been at for a little while, even running all of these betas. So that is actually good to see. Hopping around, jumping into some of the other apps, you can see just how quick and fluid the OS is actually working, which is, well, as always, great to see. Unfortunately, though, I will call out yet again, and let's jump back to the watch for this one, under gestures, Again, not surprising for this build, but hopefully on 11.4, we still have nothing new here as far as double tap goes. We're still waiting on something new to come from this. Beyond that, what we did talk about already was the new watch face that came for uh, Unity. And you can see that is the new wallpaper. We did another video on this one already as well. But if you do wanna see what it looks like, you can easily jump into it and see right how it is on the watch itself and the actual number in the back is very large and does kind of change color depending on your angle but aside from this hopefully and there's our complete notification there hopefully everything now on this watch should sync one to one so when we get an alert on the iphone hopefully we will get it back on the watch and not with a five or ten second delay like we saw recently Aside from that, guys, let us know in the comments down below, have you had any issues with watchOS 11.3? And what are you hoping to see fixed from 11.3.1? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.